Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 2 6. The statement is that the rubber band of unstretched length 2 or not is forced down the frustrum of cone determine the average normal strain in band as a function of z. So we have given that original length which is L0 of this unstretched rubber band is 2 or not clear and that is forced down on the frustrum of cone. So you have to find the average normal strain average normal strain is a function of z the z is shown vertical distance so you have to find the average normal strain that varies as we move along the z direction so let's start with the solution so you can see this is a cone so if I take the front view of this cone and also take down the um, uh, one section of this cone so the cone will look like this I will draw it over here so this here and if I join it from this point to this point so you can see that this distance is or not if we take half of this just like this so this will be like this so let the above distance is r naught, below distance is 2 r naught, this length is total h, clear, this is h. What if I extend this line, vertical line and also extend this tapered line, so they will meet at certain point clear where the radius becomes 0 let this height is equal to h dash let this height is equal to h dash clear also it is given that z varies along the length so if i take any distance from here or from any place so let from r not this distance is z clear this distance is Z. you can take it downward and here the radius is r so now using uh, by from geometry from geometry tree and similar triangles i will show you similar triangles similar triangles we have two similar triangles one is uh, this one which is uh, which is h clear h dash we have this similar triangle you can see we have one triangle which is this largest one where the cursor is moving here and second is this smallest one these are the two similar triangles clear so by using similar triangles I can write h dash over r naught so this is h dash over r naught their ratio will be equal to h plus h dash h plus h dash over 2 r naught I will repeat again this ratio of h dash over r naught will be equal to ratio of this vertical side which is h dash plus h divided by this base which is 2 or not so when you solve this you can get that this h dash is equal to h it means that this h dash and h they are equal 
now subsequently we will use the result of h dash subsequently 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 using the result of h dash dash we can also say that uh, you can see that this r r over total distance z plus h r over z plus h will be equal to r naught over h i will repeat this r distance divided by total vertical distance which is h plus z is equal to r naught over this height h clear so from here you will get this r r varies from r varies vertically clear so we will get this r is equal to r naught over h into z plus h so this is the relation of this r that depends on other parameters clear now we will come toward average normal strain so average normal strain which is equal to change in length divided by original length clear okay so the length also it is given that the length of rubber band as a function of z which is l is equal to 2 pi r because r varies along the vertical distance so the length is a function of r clear and r in term is a function of z so if we put the value of r so 2 pi into r is equal to r naught over h into z plus h clear and it is given that original length is equal to 2 r naught clear so this is new length which varies along the z direction and this is original length so you can put it in the formula of strain so average normal strain is equal to change in length which is final length minus original length divided by original length so final length is 2 pi r naught over h into z plus h minus final original length is 2 r naught clear divided by original length which is 2 r naught so when you solve it you will get it in simplified that pi by h into z plus h minus 1 so this is the value of average normal strain as a function of z. I will write it average normal strain is equal to pi by h into z plus h minus 1. So this is the correct answer. Here you can see that average normal strain is a function of z average normal strain in the band as a function of z i hope you have a clear understanding about this problem thank you for watching